Hi guys, welcome back. I miss you. Okay, so we're off to another art challenge. So let's check off and see what we did. The last time we were together, we drew your favorite candy. Oh my gosh, looking at all of those candies made me so hungry. You guys have really good taste in candies and snacks. Next time we should probably draw your favorite fruit and vegetable to balance it out. All right, so this week our challenge is to draw your favorite book. Now, I drew my favorite book, but first I want to show you the book. The book is called Mo Q McGlutch, You Smoke Too Much. You probably have never heard of that book before. It's kind of random. It was published back in 1973. And it's about the zebra family that goes to visit their cousin, who's a donkey. And the donkey smokes, smokes too much. And so over and over and over in the book, they say, Mo Q McGlutch, you smoke too much. And I guess as a little kid, I'd like to just repeat that phrase over and over again. Plus, at the time, my mother and father were both cigarette smokers. So I would say to them, Mo Q McGlutch, you smoke too much. Thankfully, they quit smoking, and so I didn't have to say that for very long. So I drew my representation of the book cover. It's not exact. If you look at them, they're not exact, but they're pretty similar. I wanted to make sure to include the dragon, the zebra, and Mo Q McGlutch and his cigarette smoke. And that was the most important part for me. I'm not going to give away the ending, but there is a dragon involved. So as you look at your favorite book, we're looking for what things? When we start off any drawing, we're looking for the basic shapes. Right. So you're going to look for the basic shapes. You're going to draw it first with pencil, of course, so you can erase if you don't get it quite right. And then you're going to start adding the details. So if I were to draw this over again, there are a few basic shapes we can look at. This is kind of a circle, right? Half circles. This is called an organic shape. That means it's not a geometric shape. So there's no real name for it. But it's kind of loopy lines to make the shape of the body of the dragon. The same with the smoke coming out of the dragon's whatever this is. For the animals, if you look at the zebra's head, it's kind of a square. His neck is a rectangle and his body is a square. Add small rectangles for his arms and his legs, a long rectangle for his tail, a half circle for his ears. So when you're looking at something that you have to draw, break it down into simple shapes first. Then you can go back and tweak it to make it exactly like you want to. So for the donkey's head, if we look, it's kind of like a rectangle. His ears are triangles, his body is a square with some rectangles coming off of it. Once you block in the basic shapes, again, you can go back and add more details. I want to hear what your favorite books are, and maybe I will get a chance to read to you my favorite book and the, my favorite line in the book. Let me see if I can find it really quick. At the end, I won't give it away what happens, but they say, poor Mo Q. McGlutch, he smoked too much. Poor Mo Q. McGlutch, he smoked too much. It's a fun book, especially if you know any people that smoke and you want them to stop. But it's really very cute. I can't wait to see what your favorite book is and how you illustrate the cover. Maybe you illustrate one of the scenes inside the book, not just the cover. So that's a choice for you to make. That's a problem for you to solve. So let's see what you come up with. I can't wait to see it.